I am going to create a tag journal in this particular video and this journal I have kind of decorated fully but you can decorate it any way you want or leave it blank and use it as a little art journal that you can illustrate as you go but it does create a booklet that you can tuck down inside your bag it's easy to carry tuck down inside a junk journal and an art journal and I just think it's kind of a interesting composition. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. And of course, the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. To get started with this tag journal, I want to first create the print that I am going to cut my tags from, utilizing cardstock, and I have chosen a few colors. I'm going to start with a light green background and I've pulled in <clears throat> just a paintbrush that I am using to make marks on the gel press to create kind of that distressed looking background. I have some remnants of the raw umber on my press that uh, you know kind of created kind of a nice pull as well. So I'm just going over my press with that dry paintbrush and it creates a very interesting background I think. So we're starting with that and this is just a celery green, a light green. I'm brushing off the remnant on the paper of the paint, coming back with a chrome oxide and a piece of drywall cloth to create some marks. And I'm also putting a stencil down over the top. And there, my background's starting to look pretty decent. Chrome oxide once again, the drywall cloth, pull the stencil in, lift that up. And here we go. And there you go. Two backgrounds for the tags. And I want to create a third color here. So I'm using the raw umber and we'll pull that and there you have the third color light coat of raw umber paint, marking it with the stencil, pulling it, and there we have our background. Should get three tags out of that. So here are all the backgrounds that have been created. I went back and did a few more pieces of paper. And these are all on white cardstock, all done exactly the same way. And of course, the mono printing with the gel press, you get something different each and every time. So now let's create this tag booklet out of these. I'm going to cut, I'm going to first cut off that little white edge, flip this around on the Fisker, and cut about three inches in width, because I think that will get me the most cards. Just cutting off the white. Something is dinging over here. And I've cut them all down to the same size, three inches by six and a half inches. And I've decided to add an additional color to those. I've pulled in the Distressed Oxide Peeled Paint Spray. Is another one of my favorites right now. And I'm just randomly placing those underneath a stencil and spraying through that stencil. So there we have the background. So there they are. We have 10 cards that we're going to utilize. And I'm painting the back of those with 
painting the paint onto the gel press and picking that paint up with the back of the cards. And we'll do that with the light celery green and turn around and do it again with the chrome oxide. It just gives the back a different, a different look, feel simpler, not as complex. And I, I want to use this side of the card to put some tea stain paper on to create a journaling spot or a another spot to decorate. And where I think it needs a little extra color, I'm just cleaning my paintbrush off on it. Okay, so here we are again with the tin cards. This is the back of them. So let's get the tag hole in each card, and I did one first and I'm using it as my template so they're all in the same place. Okay, now they are all punched and ready to go. I want to use the crocodile to round those top corners and we'll do that throughout. And to start the booklet, the first thing is to score one and a half inches on two of the cards. This creates the center of the booklet. So we'll set that aside and work from the inside out. So the next thing is to take two more cards. Of course, I'm rounding those top corners and I'm going to score those two at three quarters of an inch. And that will create one side. Let's do two more at three quarters of an inch. And that is the other side of the center. So there is the start of our book. And let's create the outside cover now. To create the outside cover, I'm taking two cards and scoring at three quarters of an inch and two cards I'm going to leave whole. So I'm going to put one of the three quarter inch with the full card on one side, the full card on the outside, the three quarter inch will just glue to the inside. So let's, let's start gluing this together. So there's the outside three-quarter inch glued to the full tag and now I'm gluing it looks like the center there so I'm sorry the three-quarter inch and the three-quarter inch which is the second piece and we're just gluing all of these tags together. So what you're going to have glued together is two one and a half inch scored tags glued together like so. You'll have two of the three quarter inch scored tags glued together and you will have two full tag and three quarter inch tag glued together. And we will combine all of these to create the booklet. And there it is together. And to put it together, we're going to create our own washi tape because I do not have anything in stock that will, that will match that. So we're going to go back to the gel press with some oxide green. Put a little mark on it with the drywall tape and lay that dark color down. And I'm going to lighten it up a bit with the celery green. Take that stencil that we had used and just 
lighten it up with that. What I'm working on is a um, page, like a page holder or one of those um, lightweight, I don't know what they're actually called, but they're the little inserts you can put inside a three ring binder that hold a page and protect a page. And I've stretched masking tape, just plain old masking tape across that. And out of that plain masking tape, we're creating our own washi tape. So let's put the booklet together with that. So let's take that those first two, which is the three quarter inch on the full tag and the three quarter inch to the three quarter inch. And we will just tape those together. And there you have the outside cover. Let's trim off that tape. And the first page. And now let's get the center in, which is the one and a half inch by score, the two one and a half inches. Let's tape those in. Trim that off. And well, I'm just going to glue down these little flaps. You can leave them, you can glue them down, you can do whatever pleases you. And now we have the center, so we're coming with the two three quarter inch scored glued together. So now we have the center in, the two sides to the center, and one front cover. And the last thing we have to put into place after we get the washi tape trimmed on the edges is that back cover. And let's tape that down. And trim that up. So there, the little booklet is all together. Just going back and trimming off any overhang of that washi tape and rounding off my tag tops where I didn't do that as we went along. So let's just clean that up. And now we have a little booklet created. I didn't like the way that was on, so I'm retaping that. I thought it looked a little off off kilter. So there we go. And where I tore that a little bit. I'm just going to cover that mistake with a little more washi. And now I have cut tea stained paper into thin strips and where we have this representation of paint I will be placing the tea stain paper. I'm gluing it with the glitter glue. That dries clear. You can see it now, but it will dry nice and clear. Just making sure it is down and adhered. Let's go through. And now I have that on each of those paintbrush decorated pages. Just gluing down my flaps. And there, our little booklet is pretty much together. What do you think of that? Out of tags. There's a piece that kind of got torn when I put it down, so let's just correct that.
and I've inked around all of those tea stain papers before I put them in. I'm just distressing them a bit. There is the booklet. So let's decorate up these tea stain papers. I'm going to pull out my gel press once again. Use some raw umber. And I have these leaves. These are maple leaves off of my red maple tree. I'm going to ink those up and I'm using them as my stencil. I'm just going to stencil those right into this page. I'm going to pull a piece of paper because I kind of have ink over everything or paint over everything. And let's just put the leaf impression down. There. Let's do that once again. Using the leaves as my stencil, just getting them paint covered. We'll lay down a scrap piece of paper to press them down. And we'll do that throughout this booklet and get just that nature look to it. And there. Clean my gel press off on my little catch paper here. And there's your little booklet. So to protect the washi tape binding, I'm going to put some cheesecloth, tea stained cheesecloth, around the bottom. Just kind of keep everything in place. And dry it a little bit with my heat tool. Flip that over and we'll glue the other side. And I'm using the art glitter glue. I'll let that dry. And then come back in and trim it up. I think I'm going to add that little remnant on the side there. Fray out those edges. And there, I like the way that looks. So now I have decided I have these leaves. These leaves actually have been in this dictionary for years. I think they're leaves that my son and I collected when he was three, four years old, and he is now pushing 40. So they've been here for a while. So I'm going to pull one of those leaves out. And I have this book that I picked up at a thrift shop that is obviously very, very old. It's falling apart, and these pages just fall apart in your hands. So I'm going to put a little remnant of this book underneath this leaf, and I'm going to mod podge, or glue and water. I make my own. So we'll stick that down and protect that old decrepit piece of book page with the glue and water mixture, and we will adhere that leaf with it as well.
And I've decided to secure that leaf a bit more with the glitter glue and then Mod Podge over the top of it. Right there, I'm going to tie a little remnant of cheesecloth into a bow, and I'm going to glue that to the bottom of my leaf stem. I think that looks good. There we go. And I've decided to incorporate that book page into all of these tea stain pages. So I'm just going through and adding a little book page and a little bit of a tea bag. So I have a tea bag and a little book page that I'm just putting little scraps throughout. Little book page, little tea bag, and that tea bag still had some tea in it. So I thought, you know what? Why not? So I have Mod Podge that up, and I'm just sprinkling those tea grounds into that Mod Podge. Just making sure we get those so they stick to that paper. And that adds a little bit more texture to this tag booklet. And let's put a little bit of the grounds across this leaf. I have the deli pages to keep them from sticking together because I've, I'm impatient and I'm not waiting for those to dry as I decorate additional pages. Little tea bag there, little piece of the antique paper. And I think you can see what my process is here, so I don't know that we need to continue to do this. I'm just dumping the remnant tea into that glue and water. And we'll let all of this dry. And that will complete and stand it up on its side and let it dry. Make sure none of my pages are sticking together. And there we have the finished little booklet. Now thread that up at the top to close it with just some additional cheesecloth. I think I'll just loop this. And there you go. So a little tag booklet. You can come back and put some quotes in here. Do whatever. Decorate however you choose. But that is my version. So completed. It looks as such. This is the inside, one of the inside pages, and kind of a flip through of this little booklet. And I think it would make a nice place to put your favorite quotes, nature quotes, on each page. I think that would make a nice, a nice finished little art journal, don't you? So there's the back, the finished front, a view from the side. 
and a view from the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll try one. And again, my name is Peg, Two Old Crows Mixed Media. Thank you for stopping by. I've put a subscribe button here and also another playlist that may interest you. I hope you'll take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a like. Comments are always welcome. Bye for now.